Okay, so welcome back from the break. You're watching The Morning Rush here on Metro Television. My name is Desi Fadin, the star. I'm here with Nanaya Tanwabwache. And we mentioned earlier that we were going to have a conversation about glaucoma. Yes, I'm sure you must have heard it a lot, a lot of times. But yes, it's something that we need to keep talking about. And joining us here is, um, she's no stranger to, to Morning Rush. <laughs> um, she is Dr. Atta. Get see, I can't be no, no. Gache, 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 ega, 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 2024 are predicted to have, and 90% of glaucoma is undetected in developing countries, and 1 billion have no access to eye care due to unfair distribution. We'll be looking at all of that. So, yeah, we're going to be showing a few of these things um, yeah. to some of our people here so that they can go and check their eyes. Very important. I'll actually dedicate myself to be outside Metro TV. If you pass, I'll just yeah. give you one yeah. because we need to talk about this because it's very sad that we keep yeah. talking about this. And per other information, mm. it also says Ghana is a sub-Saharan country most affected with this eye disease with 8.5% yeah. of persons above 40 years having the disease and 77% of persons above 30 years also carrying the disease. Something worth talking about. Yep. Doc. Dr. Paula, good morning. Good morning. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's good to have you here. Yeah. I mean, last year we had you on World Sites Day yeah. Yeah. in October. In October. In October. Yeah. True, true. And now we have you in March. We're talking October. about glaucoma. We missed you. Yeah. We're doing Ghana month. Ole nye da. Eh, we're talking about. Meloku mele. Who? Who? I was just asking her where she comes Both parents. Okay. Uh, so she's pure away. Oh, okay. That's why she didn't speak past me, but... Uh, yeah, but it shall be oh, well. But you have some in your blood. Yeah, my mom is away. Hmm, Doc, let's <laughs> talk about glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> the more we keep talking about it, people will come out yeah. to, I mean, get tested. During that process, what do you most identify? And what are some of the stories that people share? Is it that there's something that is preventing them from coming out... Or when during the checks you've realized mm. that something goes wrong, what is it? Well, good morning to all our viewers. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it's because usually glaucoma is not painful, especially the one we have in our part of the world. We okay. Have the types, we have the, the commonest one we have in Africa and in Ghana is the primary open angle glaucoma. Mm -hmm. So it is not painful. Okay. It doesn't usually show any symptoms. And the disease is such that it starts taking away your peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. And nobody goes around trying to look at things coming from the side. Mm -hmm. It's you are usually looking at things straight, straight ahead. Yeah. Okay. And so if the vision is gradually going, you will not notice mm -hmm. it until one day you just wake up and the vision is all gone. It's so all gone. it has a nickname, the silent thief of sight. Hey. So it steals oh. the sight bit by bit. Bit by bit. And it goes unnoticed. Wow. Yes. I was checking my sight to see if I can see clearly. <laughs> 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 well, that, that's about what, what, what period if it's not checked? Well, um, the research that we have tells us like people who are more than 40 years. Okay. But with the current DVLA um, side testing mm -hmm. we are doing, mm -hmm. we realize that a lot of young people actually have it. So I think it's about time we come together as Ghanaians mm -hmm. who are concerned about what is happening in our country yeah. and then invest into some research. Yeah. As of last year, the statistics we had, um, there are over 200,000 people who are blind. 45,000 is from glaucoma. Hey. So mm. that's like 19%. True, that's a lot. And um, blindness from glaucoma is irreversible. Mm -hmm. um, it's the leading cause of irreversible blindness all over the world. Cataract is the leading cause of blindness, mm -hmm. but with cataract, something can be done can about be done it. About but it. with glaucoma, when mm -hmm. you lose your vision from that's it, that's it. So even if the optic nerve is being affected, there's nothing we can do to treat it. Well, with the 
The most common uh, modifiable risk factor we have is the pressure. So okay. people tend to think that um, glaucoma is high eye pressure, mm -hmm. but that is not what it is. It is a risk factor. Okay. If your eye pressure is high, mm -hmm. you are likely to be prone to glaucoma. We also have ocular hypertension. Somebody could have um, high eye pressure, mm -hmm. but the nerves are fine. Okay. So glaucoma is a progressive a loss of optic nerves mm -hmm. plus high eye pressure okay. and then loss of vi uh, visual fields. Mm -hmm. So you okay. can't see around. Yeah. Sometimes you even think that um, some drivers can't see. Mm. But they are probably not seeing what's happening around, around them. Okay. Yeah. Because they've lost peripheral vision. Okay. I've seen a couple of them like that. They walk in and they can't see anything around. Somebody tells you, oh, hey, me wash that way in female. Mm. See, see you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because the peripheral vision is gone. And if you are an African, some people ask, oh, why is it that we have glaucoma? I ask, um, if you have a strong family history, mm -hmm. you are 10 times more likely to Together. develop the okay. condition. And if you don't have anybody in the family, maybe you don't know, mm -hmm. but if you don't have anybody because you are an African, mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and you uh, are some diseases yeah. like hypertension, diabetes, mm. Mm. the use of steroids, um, steroid medications, it can also induce glaucoma. Which type of steroid medication? Every kind of eye, uh, systemic mm -hmm. eye drop steroids. So okay. sometimes when you go to the hospital, depending on the complaint you give, mm -hmm. you are giving steroid, but you are monitored. Okay. And okay. you are taking off it. Yeah. So if another time, because it relieves Pain, pain very easily. Yeah. When something happens to you again, you don't go and take the bottle and say me pay you. Mm -hmm. I want this. I want one. the same thing. Yeah. You could be buying glaucoma for yourself. Wow. Yeah. So the depletion of glaucoma, as we have here, is a group of related eye disorders. Yeah. So yes. it's different and things they are coming together. To yeah. Okay. The optic nerve must show up. Mm -hmm. Okay. The intraocular pressure must show up, mm -hmm. and then the peripheral vis um, visual field loss mm. must also show up. So they come together. together. So it's not just you could have an optic nerve disease, which is not glaucoma. Okay. Yes. So a progressive loss of the optic nerves mm. with associated increased eye pressure. Mm -hmm. And I want to mention here that eye pressure, the pressure that your eyes can take. Mm -hmm is different from the pressure my eyes could take. Okay. Let's take this table here, for instance. If I put uh, maybe 10 bags of cement on it, it could bring it Break down. It, yeah. But this chair could be able to take it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter. This could be old and this could be new. Mm -hmm. And so the pressure that your eye can take mm -hmm. is so not the pressure the my yeah. eye can take. Okay. Universally, we have a range of pressure uh, that we we assume is the normal eye pressure. Somebody will ask you, so what is the normal eye yeah. pressure? From 11 to 21 milliliters mm. mercury. But even at that, a pressure of 16 millimeters mercury may be too much for your eye, mm -hmm. and then your nerves could be destroyed. So no pressure is actually normal. Everybody has a pressure Rep that yeah. is good for your for them, nerves. So it's nerves. important that we check. And another factor is the thickness of the front of your eye, the cornea. Mm -hmm. If your cornea is thin, it's a high risk. And usually, if you don't have the thickness of the cornea checked, mm -hmm. and we measure the pressure, your pressure could be 10. Mm. But probably, the thickness of your cornea mm -hmm. is a factor. So your cornea could be thick, uh, thin, sorry. And when you add the conversion factor, it could be high up there somewhere. So it's important that you have a comprehensive eye checkup. Okay. Not just pressure check, not yeah. just endoscopy. But but when now, let, me, let me just go through the WhatsApp numbers real quick uh, so that if people could want to send in any messages, any questions, they could send that. You can send us a WhatsApp message on 0553 Doc is here. If you've got any questions about this, um, a couple of years back, I went to check my eyes. said glaucoma. I thought I was going <laughs> blind, blind like that. But yeah, so if you've got any questions about your vision, whatever, you can just send that in and uh, she could answer that. 0553 no, no, you can go on. Yeah. Let's talk about what causes the pressure on the eye and if there's pressure on the eye, what can be done mm. to help the eye? 
So um, the eye is, is made such that it produces a certain fluid mm -hmm. we call the aqueous humor. Mm -hmm. So it is produced, comes to the front part of the eye. As next time when I'm coming, I'll bring an eye so that we can understand <laughs> better. It's in her office. You've seen it. <laughs> but you have it. So next time we'll bring I'll it. I'll bring it. So the fluid comes to the front, mm -hmm. nourishes the eye, and then it's supposed to go out through mm -hmm. an angle. Mm -hmm. So it keeps going on like that. Yeah. Nourishing, going out like that. What happens is if the rate at which it is coming in mm -hmm. is not the same rate at which it is going out, mm. then pressure starts building. Okay. And it could be um, because the angle is probably blocked mm -hmm. or some other factors that is causing it. So what uh, can be done for you if you realize that pressure is destroying your optic nerves mm -hmm. is to give you medications. Mm -hmm. But that will mean that you have to be on the medications because the eye itself is not able to maintain the normal pressure. Okay. Some people think they have been diagnosed with glaucoma. Mm -hmm. They think that once I finish one bottle of medication, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. it is not so. So you have to go for your reviews. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure always the medications are on your eye. Mm -hmm. There is also surgery. You can have uh, surgery done for you okay. to create an extra hole or create, uh, insert a tube that will let the fluid come out gradually if it is being produced. Mm. It's, it's not, you will not see it, it's not obvious. It's some very, you know the eye is tiny. Yeah. So it's okay. a very tiny tube, nobody sees it, but it is doing that pressure dynamics right. for the eye. Hmm. Wow. So I'm reading here, uh, the high rate of glaucoma mm -hmm. is largely attributed to subjective factors including, and I just want you to do some explanation for us. We've got the non-compliance, late presentation, lack of knowledge, and high severity at time of diagnosis. If we take us through that non-compliance, which one is that? Okay. Non-compliance. Non-compliance, mm. like I was saying, some people are just tired. Mm -hmm. Imagine a child, nine years, has been diagnosed with glaucoma. You always have to be on medication. Yeah. They, they get tired so along their up. life. Mm. Yeah. So some also don't know that I have to be on the medication for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So they actually stop. Mm -hmm. Then when they realize that their vision is gone, like the time they come back, mm -hmm. late presentation, but by the time they come back, the vision is Ooh, gone. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And some don't know, like I no, said, I most of it yeah. is, pain, is painless. Yeah. So they don't even know that I have to go and check my eyes. Mm -hmm. And I is one thing that people will usually not go. Like people will have regular yearly or annual medical checkup. Yeah. The eye is not included. Yeah, yes. yeah that wouldn't but be added. Yeah. World Glaucoma Week, we want to create the awareness mm -hmm. that have a regular eye checkup. Have a comprehensive one. Pay for it. You, mm. you are saving your sight. The eye is the window to the soul. So if you are not seeing, it affects everything about you. So yeah. let's give some attention to the eye. The world is bright. Save your sight. Yes. Get text tested. So yeah. glaucoma week from this week. Yeah, the whole um, week. The yeah. whole week. The whole week is glaucoma week. Okay. And there's no cure. There's no cure yet. Maybe we'll wow. have no, no, yet. yet. But the high, <laughs> the eye pressure. I think the medication is very expensive. expensive. Yeah. Very es expensive. Especially the the first line of treatment is very expensive. We can. Get Zalatan for about 300 cities. 300 cities, yes. yes. And it's every month. Mm. And know, the container so is very, very small. small. Yes, so. That's my own shishin. It shall be well. <laughs> well, of course, I mean, you've got to use your eyes for everything. everything yeah. You know, and so if it's like that, then uh, it becomes a problem. So please take note of that. Very, very important. Let's do some messages here. Um, this one says, hi, good morning to you all. Uh, please kindly add your name and where you, you send a message from when next you send a message. I just joined the show and I want to know the symptoms and how I can check for glaucoma and where to go for the checkup. Okay, thank you for your question. It's usually symptomless unless it is at the late stage mm -hmm. where you start experiencing peripheral vision. So this one, you don't experience anything. <laughs> anything. Like, is this you, just yeah, you, you are just normal. <laughs> so <laughs> this one they are one you I, I tell you sometimes I, I think that it is a certain demon that is behind <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. you don't feel the ones that are painful are 
the angle closure mm -hmm. and then maybe the one that results from dense cataract. Mm -hmm. So that one is painful. painful. So, mm -hmm. so that one you will know. Yeah. But the common one we have here. You do not know. You don't know. Oh. Yes. And um, you can have your you can come to ICID mm. yes. and we'll have a comprehensive eye checkup. But we have the OCT. Um, another uh, development in eye world is the OCT. Mm. The visual fields, that was what we used to use to primarily diagnose it. But that measures functional loss. So mm. until you start experiencing visual field loss functionally, we will not be able to detect glaucoma. But with the emergence of the OCT, it's easier for us to detect it and pick it up earlier. Okay. Like she said, you should visit ICID. You can yeah. follow them on Instagram. That's ICID underscore health. Both Instagram and Facebook. ICID is I-C-E-I-D underscore health. Yeah. And for any information, you can go to info at ICIDGH dot com. And they are on TikTok and they are also on <laughs> YouTube. YouTube, they are at the Healthy Eye Culture with Y O three eight seven eight, and you can call them on zero two four five three two four zero zero zero. And you go and see Dr. Paula Atabuji, and I've been there. I've They've been there. <laughs> the the procedure, the machines, the yeah. equipment to t to check your eyes will be thorough. So just pass by, and huh. you you get the best. Um, so every one in 200 people age 40 have glaucoma, mm -hmm. which rises to one in eight by the age of 80. Yes. And family members of those with glaucoma have a tenfold risk of getting glaucoma themselves. Yes. So if you've got history in your family, yeah. then you definitely need to take this and very, And let the most serious. vulnerable yeah. include the elderly, women. Um, have you seen it? Okay. Okay. Have you seen it? Uh, you you go through that. <laughs> <laughs> go through that. Let me I see where I can find it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there? Hey. Uh, hey. You want no, that? This, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not glaucoma, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is not glaucoma. Okay, so the most vulnerable include the elderly women, ethnic <laughs> minorities, and yeah, indigenous people. people. Yeah. yeah. So. Shelly. So guys, that's the facts for you about glaucoma I think the next this time morning. I will check for this yeah. we did the OCT and yeah. I was fine yeah, oh I was fine too oh yes we did your OCT okay okay <laughs> that's why but we did it it's, it's almost a year now like no 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 it will be very soon okay. so yeah. we can still come and check yeah because you okay. never know the eye you said it's the window, window to, the to the soul window to the soul yeah. I'm seeing beautiful people beautiful colors everything you have to get and the, the theme for testing. world glaucoma yes. which is the world is bright save your sight the world is bright save, save your sight get tested mm. yeah. yeah it's important okay so uh this will wrap up the show today please I asked you to send questions I didn't say say hi there's no other thing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, many thanks for uh, the messages um, that came in. Really do appreciate that. But of course, you could go to I said Tama Omsi the uh, Tama General Tama Hospital. Hospital. Yeah. Yes, you find them there. And please, very very important, very important. As an I said, should be at the entrance if you of Metro TV. Yeah, just pass by and pass take something by. like this. You could get the details. You can also pass by. Ask ask of me. I will descend. Yeah. And bring the flyer. And we'll bring you. you we'll bring you the the yeah. flyer. Yeah, but it's expensive to check though. This week we are actually giving a thirty percent discount for a comprehensive okay. check, including oh. the OCT. Okay. Okay. Oh, then that's good. All right, so that's it for the show today. Many thanks for joining us on a Tuesday morning like this. My name is Desmond Okwekudan, so you can call me Desi Faden, the star boy. And, uh, my name is Sanaya Tanobwach, and my outfit was by King Vincent D, so just check them out on Instagram for all your affordable and luxurious outfits. Yes, big shout to the production team. Yeah.